Prince George's County Police are looking for a gunman who shot at one of their detectives. The bullets did hit his vehicle, but thankfully not him. That shooting happened at around 7 o'clock last night on Heathermore Boulevard in Upper Marlboro. Police say that the shooter was one of four men in the vehicle, which was carjacked near Clinton yesterday afternoon. They ran off after last night's shooting. Joining us right now to talk more about trends in Prince George's County is Prince George's County Police Chief Malik Aziz. Joining us right now to kind of get us up to speed on what's been going on. Chief, good to see you. Good to see you too. Let, let's talk a little bit about the trends because I think right now we, we have kind of a lot going on. Uh, currently, crime is down or overall total crime is down about 13%, but we're starting to see some up upticks, at least in some other areas. Yes, I mean, crime is down. That's a positive. Uh, total crime is down. Mm -hmm. uh, we're slightly up in violent crime, and so that has us concerned. I think one of the things about the violent crime categories has been uh, homicides are slightly up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, any one, one homicide is one too many, uh, but they're slightly up. And I think of those of particular concerns to us is that 11 of those have been domestic violence homicides. So that slight uptick in that is causing us a, a really great concern. The carjackings are down. J you just mentioned about the carjacking that happened yesterday. Yes, Fortunately, our officer is okay, but carjackings continue to rise. Uh, but this year, we're down against last year. Uh, and that's a positive note for us. Uh, we're going to continue to address those, but domestic violence, assaults, uh, and regular assaults where people are fighting, no mm -hmm. weapons involved, that has posed us the greatest problem of a crime increase among violent crime for this year. But there are some positives uh, and we believe we can get there. Do you, are you concerned at all given the warmer months that are starting to come up? People are going to be out. It's going to be a lot more socializing taking place. Any concern that the warmer weather could contribute to an increase in violent crime at all? Yeah, that has been the trend, uh, not just here uh, in Prince George's County, but the region uh, and nationally. And nationally, when school is out mm -hmm. uh, and the summer begins and people, more people are out and about, uh, enjoying beautiful weather and enjoying the, the different you know cities uh, uh, and regional attractions, then crime goes up. So every year we plan with initiatives, with operations to address those cyclical issues that take place with crime. Uh, namely, they have more interaction, results in, in more uh, assaults, it, in, it involves more stolen cars, mm -hmm. more people breaking into vehicles as we leave things inside of our vehicles. So crime, crime ramps up. It's a really difficult two to three month period in any law enforcement agency in Prince George's County Police Department. We are not exempt from that. You guys have also been busy, uh, quite busy, especially in National Harbor, given the curfew ordinance that we've seen there. We understand that that curfew ordinance now is going to expand where other kind of areas within the county can also participate as well. Do you think that that's necessary? Well, I, th I think any it's just a tool. Mm -hmm. And I think any tool that we use to drive down any type of crime, to keep our young people safe, to give parents uh, uh, one more tool in the tool chest for them to uh, address their children, uh, to make it uh, viable, to keep them safe, one tool is always good for us. It is not the panacea uh, for end all, you know, be all, end all. It's not that. But down in National Harbor, uh, with the leadership of our, our county executive, uh, Angela also Brooks, with the emergency uh, order, mm -hmm. uh, cur uh, curfew order, with our, our county uh, chair of, of the council, uh, Miss Ivy, uh, and all of those who were involved in that with our county council to push that forward, it has shown it to be a great benefit to us. We've had a few interactions with, with juveniles in the harbor since the 800 or so juveniles uh, were in the harbor a few weeks ago, uh, shoplifting and and you know, running, smoking cannabis, doing all those kind of things that were not positive, that ended, did not end up in a positive outcome. Uh, we've had our interaction since then. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been really great. Uh, I think I don't think that curfews should be weighted against another city or another jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. uh, that curfew is for Prince George's County, and it is up to us, the citizens, uh, our business owners uh, and managers, uh, and the police department to make it work. And that's what we plan on doing, making it work, keeping our children safe. I think every parent wants their, their child to be safe, uh, and so we want that too as part of the family. Absolutely. Uh, five seconds. Uh, the commanders released their schedule today. How are you feeling? 
Uh, I'm feeling, you know, uh, really good <laughs> about the Dallas Cowboys. And, oh, my God. <laughs> and, the, and the Washington. I'm a now, uh, you heard it here, I'm now a Cowmander. Uh. You've stolen our coaches. <laughs> you've stolen our players. You're, you're ready to compete and, and win. So now that you're looking like the Cowboys, I guess I have to be a Cowmander <laughs> and drive it home. I'm looking forward to a great season here. All right. By any means necessary, we're going to bring you on to the fold. <laughs> I'm already there. All right. Halfway there. All right. Come on over. Come on over. Chief Aziz, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time today. No, thank you so much. And come on down and, and join Prince George's County Police Department. We're hiring. Join okay. the best in, in department in the nation. All right, sir. Thank you so much. Me